Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you are new here, my name is Holly. I make food and fitness content. And we have a very fitness focused video today, guys. This is my first ever half marathon vlog. I'm running a half marathon tomorrow. I, I just can't even comprehend. I don't even know how I'm feeling. I feel a massive mixture of emotions right now. So this is going to be my like little pre-run packing video. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be taking with me. And then later on, we are going to be traveling to Newcastle together to get ready for the big day tomorrow. First of all, I would like to address something. Earlier in the week, unfortunately in the UK, the Queen did pass away. I feel like this has been really awful news for everybody in the UK. It's definitely cast a big sadness across the country and I feel like everybody is mourning her loss right now. With that in mind, the Great North Run, as far as I'm concerned, did have to kind of be thrown a bit up in the air because they wanted to do the most respectful thing. They have decided to go ahead with the race. 25 million pounds has been raised by runners of the Great North Run for charities. So I feel like they felt in respect of that it wasn't right to cancel it. I just wanted to address that because I want you guys to know that I am completely aware that the UK is in a bit of a weird time at the moment and I was debating whether to do a YouTube video this week, but I like to think that in times of kind of sadness and darkness, people do turn to the internet or they do turn to YouTube to kind of lift the mood and brighten their day a little bit. And I feel like hopefully that is something I will be able to do with this video. Um, brighten your guys' week a little bit because I feel like there is definitely like I said, a bit of a grey cloud over the UK at the moment as we are in mourning. So hopefully you guys can watch this video and feel a little bit lighter afterwards and just use it to take your mind off the situation as well. So I think we should just jump into it. I'm about to start packing. What do you even pack for a half marathon? Because I think we are all aware that I am not a runner. Um, this is something that I basically decided to do, I think... I need to figure out the exact weeks because I need to tell you guys like, how long I've been training, but I think it was about three months ago. Three or four months ago, I basically decided to do a half marathon. Um, I hadn't even run 5K at that point, and now I'm running, I think it's like 24K tomorrow. God, I every time I talk about it, I'm like, wow. So I've actually just got back from Crete. I've spent the week on holiday. It was absolutely bliss and amazing, and it tied in really well because the week before a big run, you're supposed to have a bit more of a taper week where you don't train as much, you limit your activity, basically kind of like reserving a bit of energy for the actual race. So, so far this week, I've done a five mile run, which was on a treadmill because obviously I was in Crete. I didn't know what the roads were going to be like out there, and then I did do a two mile run outside, which honestly, felt like I ran the half marathon. Running in a hot climate is difficult. All you are doing is inhaling hot and humid air. We definitely left it a bit too late and went a bit too late in the day, but regardless, I've got two runs down this week. It's so weird because mentally I feel like every week I've done these like big 10 mile runs and these big 10Ks and I'm like, right, I can do it. I just did 10 miles. Whereas this week I'm like, I haven't run 10 miles since last week. Like, does my body know how to do that anymore? Which is a massive mental part of running. I know I'm gonna get there tomorrow and I'm gonna be able to do it and I am excited, but also in the back of my mind, I feel like the almost like deload week is like playing on my mind and I'm like, my lungs aren't gonna be able to hack it. I'm not gonna be able to do it, but we're gonna overcome those thoughts today. So yeah, packing. What do you pack for a half marathon? I have got a few bits set up in the kitchen. I'm gonna take you guys and show you them like my running vest and all that kind of things. And then clothing wise, obviously I'm running it with gym plus coffee. So I'm gonna be wearing my favorite gym plus coffee fit as well. And yeah, just like food. These are currently the bits that I have set up in the kitchen that I'm gonna take. So I do have two different running vests. One which holds water, one which doesn't. I'm undecided on which one to take, but I'll show you both of those in a second. I've got some blister plasters. These are more for afterwards because I'm sure my feet are going to be in bits. I did also get some chafe cream because while I was away on holiday, I did get quite a lot of chafing between my thighs. You have just got to love trouble, haven't you? So basically I've got this because even though my shorts don't make me chafe because I already have chafing, I've just basically got this as like a protection layer. So hopefully that does help. Also, another thing that I picked up is these from Amazon. So I have never tried these before. I don't know if these will help, but they are like gel finger and toe protectors because guys, one of my toenails is definitely coming off. I'm actually going to show you this. So big graphic warning. My toe is not cute. I'm going to show you on YouTube because I feel like I talk about it so much on Instagram. I just need to show you guys. Big warning. If you don't like toes, you don't like gross things, you don't like feet, definitely just skip ahead. So this is the toenail in question. You can see the skin has started to like come away. 
at the top um and this is the toenail also that i do think is going to come off because i'm not going to pull at it but where the skin went dead underneath the toenail it has started to like force it outwards that is actually what i'm going to show you of my feet because i'm so petrified of the wrong people ending up on my youtube channel if i show my toes too much but yeah it's not looking the best i think I don't really know the best way to go about it. Foot care is obviously something that really needs to be taken into account if you're doing long runs. And it's something since doing the 10 miles that I've really noticed has started to be a bit of an issue. And I also don't like people touching my feet, so I can't go anywhere and get them to like give me a pedicure. And I'm scared of them like making them too tender. So yeah, hopefully these are like almost little pop socks with gel that you pop over your like toes or fingers. I just don't know whether that's the best idea. Again, trying something new before a big run. I think I'd rather brave it and have my toenail fall off than have that on and have to like stop and take it off if it's really uncomfortable. Then food wise, we've got a big stack of bananas because I'm gonna be having a banana pre-run. I've also got my favorite sweets in the world, Percy Pigs, because these are what I'm gonna be taking on my run with me. I do not like eating food during runs this is obviously the longest run i've done when i do 10 miles i do have about three percy pigs i don't like ingesting a lot of food so i'm just going to take a few of those and hopefully make it to the end just on percy pigs i will also be taking a pack of bagels because i'm going to be having a toasted bagel with banana and honey in the morning that has been my favorite pre-workout snack so far so the reason that i'm opting for bigger bagels is because i'm sensing that there will be a bit of time between having breakfast at the hotel and then actually running. I think my run time is like 10 30, um, which is obviously a bit later in the morning. So I want to eat something when I get up. So I might have a small bowl of cereal and then have that just before I run. But there's like warm up time. I'm going to go see Gym Plus Coffee and we're going to be doing some content for their socials. So there's just a few different things going on. So I feel like a bigger bagel is probably going to get me through. And the 100 pairs of pigs I'm probably going to put in my vest as well. I also got gifted this lovely case from Casetify, which turned up this morning. And it says, you're stronger than that voice in your head telling you you can't. And I feel like when you're running, a lot of the time you do have a bit of runner's doubt. And this is definitely going to be in my little pocket and keep me going through that, the whole thing. Because one of the best things you can do is just give yourself like positive reinforcement when you're running. Right, let's talk running vest because this is... It seems like such a small decision, but it isn't. It's such a big decision because it will make an impact on the day. So when I've been doing my long runs, I wear my, I think it's from Solomon. Solomon running vest. I will link both of these. This one was just from Amazon. It was actually recommended by Lucy Davis, who is a phenomenal athlete. So as soon as she recommended it, I was like, this is obviously going to be the best. And it has been really, really good. I think it is a little bit pricier. Running vests generally are, but again, they are an investment and they do help so much so if i can recommend anything it's definitely to get a good running vest so this is the one i've been wearing for my longer runs because you can put these like hydration pouches in it so i fill these up with water or lucas aid or like a mixture of both it also has room for my phone and things like that i will actually pop it on and show you guys properly i was thinking the other day like do you wash these i think you are supposed to wash them but i haven't yet so yeah that is a little bit gross so if you see me at the great north run i smell that will probably be why. So this is one of them. Again, like neither of them are more comfortable than the other. My only drawing point to this one that I can obviously put water in it. The hydration pouches literally just go in like this. And then you have a little string that you pop around them like that. And this one's really good because you can properly tighten it. So I think it's unisex, but yeah, you can just tighten it across. I always end up doing them too tight. And then when I have my really like high impact sports bra on underneath, I genuinely feel like... I'm gonna suffocate sometimes, I have to loosen them. The one thing that I want to do, and this is why I'm stressing so much over a vest, is control every single variable outside the run. So all I have to focus on is running and putting one foot in front of the other. And if I can do that, then I know I'll be fine. If I have a stupid cap of gel on my toe that's irritating me, or if my vest feels too heavy, or if my vest feels too bulky, or if my legs feel like they're chafing, my mind is gonna focus on those things, and it's really gonna distract from me just getting my head down and getting the run done, and kind of enjoying it as well. I'm just gonna be feeling like I'm in pain, and if you give the pain attention when you're running, it doesn't go anywhere, it just intensifies. So yeah, this is basically me overthinking and stressing too much about little things that probably won't really matter. I'm sure I'll get there, and I won't even think about this bloody hydration pouch, but right now, 
because I'm a little bit nervous about the race, it is at the forefront of my mind and it is the most important thing. I don't know why I'm stressing about it so much. But the second one is the free train one. This one also is fab. I wear this on all of my shorter runs. It's very useful if you are somebody that needs to check your phone or if you have your phone distances on because you literally have a phone patch right here. So you just pop your phone in there and you can just clip it on. And honestly, when I say that like when... I started running, I was like, I can't wear belts, I can't wear vests, they're gonna be too annoying, gonna feel too heavy, gonna bounce around too much. Neither of these vests do that, like you do genuinely forget that you are even wearing a vest. So this one does have smaller pockets here and then a clip pocket here, so I can slide my inhaler in here and then put some Percy Pigs in here. It's not got as many pockets um, on it. The winning quality of this one is just that you can have your phone here um and in that one it is a little bit more difficult to take it out i'm gonna take both i think i'm definitely leaning more towards the salmon one at the moment but i'll let you guys know what i go for in the morning and then i've got all of my running stuff so i have got my running number here as well let me take the best off first <laughs> so yeah i've got my running number which is lucky number <laughs> Lucky number 49453. I've also had a big delivery from Gemini Coffee, so I'm gonna have a little look. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be my running outfit for tomorrow. Hopefully, if you guys follow me on Instagram, it's no surprise that this is the colour that I have ended up wearing because this is just so cute. I cannot wait to show you guys it on tomorrow. So cute. And then the pink runny t-shirt. So if you guys aren't great enough run. You are definitely not going to be missing me at all. So yeah, I need to get that packed, get my vest and my food together. And then my trainers, socks. I'll show you guys like all my trainers and socks that I'm going to be running in tomorrow as well. But yeah, I think so far that is the majority of the goods. Right, it is a few hours on. We have made some progress. This is what I think is everything. I am petrified of watching this back while I'm uploading it and screaming at myself because I've very blatantly forgotten something. But I've literally gone from like head to toe what I need to wear when I'm running, what I think I want around running. I've got two running outfits because I thought, you never know, I don't know, I might catch my t-shirt on a tree branch and it will rip off. Also, for post run, I've packed some nice comfy high top socks and sliders because I feel like I'm going to want to get my trainers off ASAP. Wash bag, makeup, food. I I feel like this is everything. I am officially packed. So you've got the case at the ready and then my little bag there. I'm taking my laptop with me so I can do some editing in the car because I think it is about a two and a half hour drive from Manchester to Newcastle. I didn't realise it was that far away. I thought it was literally like an hour. So we're going to set off so we get there by about seven or eight ish and then can get a really early night because I didn't go to bed until 5 a.m. this morning because of the fact that we had flight delays. We had to sit on the plane at Manchester airport for about 45 minutes while we waited for a bus to come and collect us. Probably could have walked it in that time, but probably would have been hit by a plane as well if we'd have done that. So I understand why we couldn't, but it just wasn't very helpful going to bed so late. So we're gonna catch up on sleep tonight. I'm wearing a Gym Plus Coffee hoodie. I absolutely love this. It's fleece lined, so it's super, super furry on the inside. And then a pair of their leggings just traveling because they are so comfy. We have just got to Newcastle. It's like 8 p.m. at night. We're staying at the Copthorne Hotel. So obviously if you know that you're doing the half marathon, and like a year in advance I'm sure you can book your hotel that early but I booked this about a month ago and it's not there's nothing wrong with it but it was like 360 pounds for the night and it's not worth 360 pounds I'm just gonna say that so it was very very expensive but I think in hindsight you're supposed to book like a year in advance but I'll give you guys a little tour and then I think the plan is just to find some source of food and basically go to sleep so I can get up at like 7 a.m tomorrow but I'll show you guys the room and the snacks I bought with me. So this is the bathroom. The only way I can kind of describe like the vibe of this hotel is that it feels like you need one of those like blue lights to like go around and kind of like scan the room for germs, but also you don't. And it has adjoining doors on each side to the other rooms on each side. And that kind of creeps me out because I just get scared that people will be able to get in. But apart from that, it's quite nice. You've got a nice view out the window of the River Tyne. Um, um, apart from that, it looks like it's popping off in town because it's Actually, obviously a Saturday yeah. night in Newcastle. 
these are the chocolate brownie bites I picked up because these are essential and I heard that they make you run faster. Good morning, guys. I don't know how I'm feeling. I feel like I'm going through massive waves of nervousness and excitement. I don't even know how to feel. I'm not hungry and this is the problem. I definitely need to eat. So it's currently 8.30. I'm not running until around 10.45. I think that's when like the first wave goes. So I probably won't move until 11. So I've got a bit of time that I need to pay start eating. I think I just need to take a moment, you know. I can't believe I'm running a half marathon. This is mental. I keep seeing people like jogging up and down. I'm like, should I be warming up two hours early? Like I don't really warm up for my runs anyway, but I feel like I'm gonna have to today. Otherwise I'll probably be broken. I feel like I'm just rambling because I'm a little bit nervous. So basically the plan of action is we're going to head to meet the Gym Plus Coffee team in town. Um, I think they want to do a little bit of content pre-race and we're all going to walk to the start together. And then I just have to run 13 miles <laughs> and meet them on the other side. I'm getting a little bit clammy because I do feel a little bit nervous. How are you feeling about your first run? <laughs> Scared. Very excited. There's loads of people. Um, oh, lots of people. But I'm just, I'm worried for my feet. I'm worried for my blisters. I'm worried for my toenails. I'm worried for my back. I'm worried for my kneecaps. You don't sound very, very excited. <laughs> no, I am excited. Let's call Brian Vanekening now. Welling up here as the backbikes come across the line. Just a little rain looking inside the society. You can't hear us. He's got the tubes popping out of his ears. I just ran 13 miles and now I think I'm going to sit on this spot in Newcastle and I don't think I'm ever going to move ever again. Oh yeah, <laughs> the merch. First half marathon. I won guys, How do you guys think? I won. <laughs> won the marathon. How do you feel? Um, good. My legs, oh my legs hurt but I feel good, I did it. I can't believe I did it. I did it. Well, trying to find out my time, but I think it was like just over... Just over two hours, I think. Just over two hours, which is insane. Smashed it. I'm going to go eat our food. <laughs> so, we're in the car now. We are heading back to Manchester. Guys, I just had a traumatic experience in the bus on the way back from the Great North Run. Traumatic doesn't even summarise it. So, obviously there's a lot of traffic, but they were like, oh, you can get on these VIP buses. They're like escorted, so there won't be as much traffic first lie of the day <laughs> there was still lots of traffic and I don't I honestly don't know what happened I had an orange that somebody gave me before but like I will be the first one to say like my food I didn't plan it very well today I feel like I had a protein wafer in the morning and a banana before I went and like that's just not enough substance like normally I have like a bagel and I have bagels with me I just feel like I was a bit caught up in the moment and I didn't eat enough um and I was like actually starving before the race even begun but I didn't want to eat Percy pigs because I didn't want to spike my sugar levels and like crash anyway I'm gibbering on then there was no food in the VIP section because all of the non-runners ate all of the food so when the runners well Maybe if I'd have run faster, there would have been food. But all of the runners that did my kind of time had no food left. So people were passing out oranges. I just had an orange. Then we got on the bus and I was like fine. But I think the bus like movement, I just suddenly started to feel really, really unwell. Um, and I thought I was having a panic attack because I felt really like weak and like I was sweating and I just felt really like I was impending doom basically. And I went to the toilet. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna be sick. So I went back and then I went back to the toilet and I was sick. Not only was I sick, but there was nowhere to kneel because the, the toilet was so small. So I had to sit on the toilet with the toilet seat down and be sick into the sink. And everybody can hear me. It was quite loud. Yeah, it was. So I was being really loudly sick into the sink of this bus. Then I went to wash away my sick and the water wasn't working. So I had to scoop my sick out of the sink with toilet roll, not with my bare hands, and put it into the toilet. Like, come on. It's not really winning behavior, is it? Guys, my feet, I've done whew, 35,000 steps today. Thank you. Got some chips. I don't really eat Burger King much. This is what I went for. This is the best what I eat in a day I've ever done, I think. Oh, but they're quite like nice, nicely wrapped. Should do a review. Smells like smoked cheese. I hate anything smoked, so that's great. You need a smoked house, Angus. Oh my god, it is it? Yeah. It's smoked. Yeah. 
All hate. the burgers are smoked in it. I know, I did think that. It's got crispy, oh onion. it's got crispy onions in You like crispy you onions. You want a smoky barbecue. Right, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Oh, onion rings. Why do I not think to get onion rings? Right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video. I hope you're proud of me and my amazing accomplishment that I did today. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna eat my burger and I'll see you guys next Sunday.